Hello everyone, I'm Preeta from group 25. Today I will demonstrate about how to apply a neck collar. What is a neck collar? A neck collar is also known as a neck brace or cervical collar, which is an instrument used to support the neck and spine and limit the head movement after an injury. Its purpose is to prevent you from moving your head and neck until the injury is healed. There are three types of neck collars. The first type is soft collars. They are made of foam rubber, polyethylene or sometimes inflatable cuff and they fit around the neck. These collars allow for some range of movement, mostly forward and backward while limiting side to side movement. Soft collars are used in rehabilitation of whiff flesh and neck springs and to provide support for chronic neck pain especially in older people. The second type is rigid collars. These collars are made of a plastic shell over a foam or vinyl core. They are the most restrictive among all the neck collars. They are used when the doctors want to stop almost all the movements of the neck in any direction. A rigid collar is used after surgery or after severe trauma such as cervical fractures where healing will take a longer time. Rigid or hard collars usually extend from the jaw to the collarbone. The third type is spot collars. These collars represent a specialized type of rigid collars. They are used by the race car drivers, motocross riders and ATV riders all of whom engaged in high-speed, high-impact driving to prevent the neck damage in cases of collisions or sudden stops. They are extremely effective in saving lives and preventing the need for the other types of neck collars. When should you not use a neck collar? A neck collar should not be worn for more than 10 days after a whip flash type surgery. But you may need support for a long time. Muscle deterioration increases when the patient uses a neck collar for a longer time. Also, the doctors believe that in many patients using a neck collar, pain relief may be partially due to the psychological support of the collar as much as the physical support. First, we have to measure the size of the neck collar by using our fingers between the jawline and the chest. Then the neck collar is measured using the forefingers accurately. The collar is then manipulated until it shows the red color dot and set appropriately. It is then knocked in position. The neck collar has to be rolled up so that it will be easier for us to fix it. The collar has to fit the chin accurately and the collar is fit around his neck accurately.